This has been kind of floating around for years. This article was written in 2000, so it shows you how old it is. But um, this is an answer to somebody who's asking what what's his what's his reasoning here. He's saying that if you take this lineage from Adam to Noah, down to Noah, uh, you take these are all legitimate uh, readings of each word. You get a basic um, gospel message with the meanings mm -hmm. of their words of their names. So Adam, yeah, it was like the Hebrew symbol, like the mm -hmm. um, there's some type of symbolism that goes along with each of the Hebrew words. Sorry, and and then and then there's the symbols have are like translated, but you might be able to explain it better than I would. I would. Well, I'm just honestly just going to read the article. Adam means man. Of course, it can mean like ruddy or red as well, but it typically means man. Seth means appointed. So when Eve had Seth, she said, "God has appointed me another seed instead of Abel." So man appointed. Enosh. Um, can mean mortal, frail, or miserable. It's from the root anash, meaning to be incurable. And then His parents Kenan, must not have liked him very much. Oh, no. No, definitely not. Uh, Ichabod is another name that comes to mind. I forget what it means, but, you know, named for essentially sorrow. Oh, speaking of sorrow, Kenan. <laughs> sorrow, dirge, or elegy. That's what Kenan can mean. Um... And like I said, all of these, this is not the uh, translation for each of these names. They're just legitimate translations. So, or meanings, I should say. Mahalalel. Did I say that right? Mahalalel mm -hmm. means blessed or praise. So, um, and since El is the name of God, Mahalalel means the blessed God. Jared um, means shall come down. Um, apparently this was a allusion to the sons of God who came down to corrupt the daughters of men, resulting in the Nephilim. If you know Michael Heiser, you know what, you're, what mm -hmm. he's talking about there. Enoch, uh, Jared's son Enoch means teaching or commencement. And then Methuselah, uh, da, 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 da. he was the last person alive before the flood, and then when he died, the flood came, right? So it is yeah, interesting that his life, forth. right. Yes, um, his life was, in effect, the symbol of God's mercy in forestalling the coming judgment of the flood, and then the flood was sent forth. So, yeah, the name Methuselah comes from the two roots, mut, meaning death, and shalach, meaning to bring. So, his death shall bring, or to send forth death. Hmm. Lamech uh, means lament, or lamentation, or despairing. And then Noah means to bring relief or comfort. So if you put them all together, these are legitimate translations of these names. Man appointed mortal sorrow. The blessed God shall come down, teaching his death shall bring the despairing rest or comfort. It's beautiful. Interesting. Mankind is appointed death, right? And we're sorrowful for it. And then God's going to come down, teaching that his death, God's death, will bring comfort to those who are despairing. That's in Genesis 5. 